Time travel in RPGs is very much a staple of the genre. The concept of changing the past to change the future, and dealing with the butterfly effect in between hasty timeline shenanigans, it usually opens up vast diversity to most games, allowing you to see the impact of your narrative choice. Chris Tales is the latest RPG to join the time manipulation genre, and attempts to stand out from the pack by letting you view the past, present, and the future simultaneously. Chris Tales was developed by Colombian indie game studios Dreams Incorporated, in collaboration with Sick, and published by Modus Games. Playing as Chris Bell, an orphan with no knowledge of her past, you quickly find time-altering powers awakened within you. Now a Time Mage, you're thrust into the war against the Time Empress for the very fate of the world. Joined by an assortment of characters along the way, it's your job to save the world while using your powers to make the best choices for everyone in need. Time manipulation is the core gameplay mechanic in Chris Tales, from the way you view the world around you, to how you manipulate enemies in battle, jumping back and forth between timelines to grab items. Using a prism-like view, Chris Bell is able to see the past, present, and future of the world around her at the same time. It's important to be able to view these sections of the timeline, as choice is another major component of the gameplay. Very early on, you'll find yourself put into positions where Chris Bell has to make a choice that affect the people around her. You have to choose between saving the home of a friend, or the shop of an apothecary for instance. Saving the shop helps the town, but leaves your friend destitute. From that point onwards, choices both broaden in scope and severity. The future of entire cities, let alone the world and the main story, become a function of your choice. Of course, there are plenty of side quests too, and it's important to note that while many of these are your usual fetch quest variety, some of them factor into what choices you're given. In the first city, for instance, failing to complete a specific side quest before the boss fight will lock you out of at least one of the potential options for that city's future. These are the moments in which Chris Tales shines, as it forces you to stop and consider the options presented to you. Time manipulation factors into exploration as well, though to a much slighter degree. Matthias, the talking frog that leads Chris Bell down this rabbit hole, can jump to the past or future, usually to grab items, plant a seed, or listen in on a conversation. Combat is a typical turn-based affair, but the added time powers add some strategic depth to battle. Chris Bell can cast time crystals into the future and the past. You can turn an enemy back to its younger self, removing some of its more powerful attacks. Or you could cast poison on one, and then fling it into the future where the damage over time effect knocks it all off at once. A carefully planned attack can wipe out an enemy in one shot. It's also possible to cost yourself a valuable round using this ability. Sadly, Chris Tales doesn't use the time concept as well as it should. Chris Bell's ability to see the different timelines only really applies in cities and towns. The main map, dungeon, and forests all don't get afforded that luxury. In combat as well, your choices tend to get limited in later battles, and I found it easier to just brute force my way through a fight with standard or magical attacks, instead of using Chris Bell's time manipulation abilities. Equally problematic is the fact her abilities don't even work on later bosses. You are immune, or can counter them, making it ultimately feel a little gimmicky outside of standard enemy encounters. The meat of any RPG, though, is its story. Chris Tales does a great job here. The interesting cast of characters and the writing kept me pushing forward to see what other choices I would have to make. Chris Tales manages to also throw in other themes, such as the destruction of the environment for gain, and just whose life is worth less than profit, though it doesn't explore them as in-depth as it could. Visually, Chris Tales is absolutely stunning. The game uses 2D sprites to glorious effect, and the art style is a standout that makes it easily recognizable amongst its peers. It's fairly similar to the approach that Nintendo have used in the Paper Mario series, but with a sense of visual panache that's entirely its own. Most of the game is screenshot worthy, and the voice acting is fairly good as well. Unfortunately, there are two major areas where Chris Tales suffers. As a love letter to old JRPGs, it unfortunately embraces random enemy encounters, a mechanic I hoped we'd have left completely in the past by now. While not a terrible train smash by itself, when joined with the other game's issue, it can become a chore. That other issue is loading times. Whether you're jumping into a cutscene, from the town to a map or a dungeon, and, especially in these random encounters, the loading times in and out of battles, there's just far too many of them, and they go on for far too long. On average, each of these scenarios could take anywhere from 6 to 15 seconds or more to load. 
and when you couple that with how often you'll be jumping back and forth from place to place, having to watch a cutscene as you make a choice, or instigating a random enemy encounter, you've got a lot of thumb twiddling on your hands. All that said, even with the interesting time-driven choice mechanic that isn't perhaps used to its fullest potential, Chris Tales was still a fun and captivating RPG, thanks to its stellar art design, good writing, and memorable characters. If you've been looking for something to scratch that JRPG itch, then you should definitely be checking out Chris Tales.